Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to perform one sample T test. Consider the variable blood type, which classify into two groups. Zero represent RGs, one represent type O. The first thing that we have to do here is to generate frequency distribution. Go to analyze descriptive statistics, click on frequencies. Move the variable of interest to variable, click on OK, and we should obtain the frequency. Next, let's transfer the frequency distribution to a new data book. Go to File, New Data. We should bear in mind that the study aspect must be labeled as 1, others 0. So according to what we need here is the blood type O. For blood type or we have 9 of them, else we have 11. Go to variable view to name the variables. For the first variable, we can name as type. Second, I'm going to use the word sample, since this is obtained from the sample frequency. Next, weight cases. So go to data weight cases. We should weight according to the frequency that we label as sample. Click on OK. Now we can perform the test. Analyze, compare means, one sample t test. Move the variable of interest to test variables. Test value here according to the question is 40%, which is 0.4. Click on OK and we should obtain the result. But we should bear in mind that when we refer to the formula, we realize that when compute the standard error, population proportion was used. However, if we refer to SPAS, since the sample type values were used when computing the one sample statistics, which means that the value follow from this sample type value, and hence we obtain the value that is different from the formula that we want. So what we have to do here is instead of using sample type values when computing the one sample statistics, we should change to population. So I'm going to change to population. To obtain the population frequency, we should take the percentage times the n and we have 20 times 0 0.4 we obtain 8 so which means that the rest 12 and we can label as population next we should weight cases again go to data weight cases and this time we should weight according to the population frequency click on ok and we can now perform the test compare means one sample t test Again, type, but this time the test value we should interchange with the sample proportion. So change to 0 0.45. Click on OK and we should obtain the test statistic. If we need four decimal places, double click on the table, right click the value, look for cell properties, and we should change to four decimal places and click on OK. Next, what we have to do here is make use of adjustment. Since we know that we already interchange sample and population proportions, so which means that the position is changed. When we change, which means that we should negative the value that we obtain. So we transfer this value here and we take negative. And we have to bear in mind that SPS always use sample type standard deviation, which means that SPS computed the value based on m minus 1 but according to the formula that we have should be n. So which means that we need to make adjustment here. So we times n divided by n minus one, and we should obtain the correct test that is state. To obtain the critical value, we can make use of SPS as well. So we go back to the data view, go to transform, compute variable, simply name the target variable, what we need here is the inverse df, look for the t distribution up. The first question mark is the probability. For this case, the significance level is 0 0.05 or 5%. And what we need here is only the right tail. So one tail, we don't have to over two. Simply take the value 0 0.05. And the degree of freedom is n minus one, which is 19. 
click on OK and we should obtain the value. Also, if we want more decimal places, go to variable view and increase the decimal point if needed. So we can transfer this value here and we can now compare. Since this is right tail test, so we can ignore the negative since t distribution is symmetric. From here, we can see that the test statistic is less than the critical value and hence we do not reject H0 or H0 at alpha equal to 0.05, which is the significance level. From here, we can say that there is insufficient evidence to conclude that more than 40% of the population has blood type O. How if last say we are asked to obtain the confidence interval? So from here, we can use back the statistics that we obtained previously. Instead of using the population proportion with mean, which is 0.4, the population proportion, we repack refer back to the sample proportion 0.45 and we are going to use this standard error so what we need here is the mean which is the sample proportion transfer here we need t the t value student t so again we need to compute so to compute the value transform compute variable this time we should take 0.025 since for confident interval must be two tail Click on OK and we should obtain the value. So from here, we can see that we have negative 2.093. Again, we can ignore the negative sign since what we need here is plus minus. Next, transfer the value. So the standard error is 0.1141. If we need only four decimal places, then we do some adjustment since according to the formula that we have, we should have P times Q divided by n but here computed based on n minus 1 so we times n minus 1 divided by n and we should obtain the correct confidence interval okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you